tired of being busy? Why don't you try a new word or an expression which describes your level of busyness a little more precisely? Hey guys, this is Rupa and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. Well, in English, we have a lot of expressions and slang terms that can be used to talk about being busy. And that's what we are going to learn in today's video. As we all know that I am busy is the most basic way to talk about being busy. But we have so many other phrases or expressions instead of saying I am busy. And the first alternative to say I am busy is I have a lot on my plate. What does it mean? Well, it could literally mean that you have just overfilled your plate at dinner. But figuratively, it has another meaning. To have a lot on my plate simply means you are so busy because there are too many things to do. Here is one example sentence. Hey sweetie, haven't you slept yet? Oh no, I have to finish my course first because with final exams, I have got too much on my plate. Let's look at another expression. My mother is such a busy bee, she is constantly doing stuff, I just don't know how she does it all. Now I know what you are thinking. Well, a busy bee is a person doing a lot of work at the moment or all the time. This phrase likely originates from something that bees are known for. Bees are very hardworking creatures and can always be seen buzzing around. So, it's thought that this idiom is meant to compare the type of work bees do to how humans work. And we often use this expression to show that we are extremely busy. Here is one example sentence. Rupa, I need you to come in the kitchen and help me with this work. No, Mama, I could get a good night's sleep because I am going to as busy as a bee tomorrow. Let's jump into the third expression. I am swamped. Literally, as a noun, a swamp is a wet area usually in a forest. But the slang version of swamped means I am extremely busy and I am overloaded with things to do. So, if somebody asks you to do something, you could say, I'm sorry, I'm swamped. For example, Hey, can you help me with this project? Look, I'm so sorry, I'm already swamped with this work. Why don't you ask Krish? Maybe he can help you with this project. But me, I'm so sorry, I'm swamped, I can't help you. So that's how we can use this slang term. And the fourth expression about being busy is, I am buried in my work. This expression means that we have so much work that we are buried in it. So, this is often used to express that we have a lot of work and are completely busy. So, if you feel like you are buried with work, it's like all of this work on top of you so that you can't help your friends. Let me show you an example situation. Hey, do you want to meet up for a movie on Saturday? Yeah, I'd love to, but this week I have been buried in my new project. Sorry, I can't. Let's look at another expression of being busy. I am tied up this weekend. When you say you are tied up, it doesn't actually mean you are tied up like this. It means that you have many things you need to finish and those things are taking longer time than you expected. So, as a result, you don't have any time and your time is tied up with your responsibilities. Let me show you an example situation to use this expression. Hello. Mom, I can't talk to you right now because I'm all tied up making a video. Can I talk to you later? Okay, bye. So, that's how we can use this expression. And the last way to say I am busy is, I am up to my ears in work. This is a fun idiom shows that we have too much work. 
and it is similar to other phrases like I am up to my eyes or I am up to my neck or I am up to my eyeballs. And here is one example situation. Hi Christy, are you coming with us tonight? I wish I could but I am up to my ears and I don't think I can. Finally, let me tell you some more expressions or slang terms to say I am busy. I have been snowed under with many complaints. I have got a lot to do. I am a little overloaded right now but I expect things to calm down when it's done. I am kind of busy today. Mark might be a little busy tomorrow. We are overloaded with this new project. We have been completely slammed with new customers. I am behind on my work. I am a bit occupied today dealing with parents. I am slightly overstretched at this moment. So these are the alternatives which allow you to better express exactly how busy you are and how soon you are likely to be available. Use this session to expand your English vocabulary. It helps you to take your English to the next level. Try to use one of these phrases or expressions the next time you speak in English. The more English expressions and idioms that you know, the easier it will be for you when you have a conversation in English. Finally, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be back with a new session. Until then, keep smiling and keep waiting for my next video.